y'all and welcome back to my channel today we're going to be doing something super easy and super sleek I'm going to be doing a pink eyeshadow summer look I think that's what I'm gonna call it and if you guys are wondering um, yes I have my Miss Seeley braids underneath this my wig is sitting to the side of me I will be applying it for the end of this video once my face is all done and I don't know you guys well enough yet for me to be sitting on camera with my braids raggedy and showing I think not so without further ado let's jump right into the video so as you guys can see I've done my eyebrows off camera I will be leaving a um, I've already have I already have a tutorial on my channel so I'll be leaving that link in the description box also um, I'm gonna be applying my strobe cream by MAC and this is the obviously the fun size um, I want this look today to be very subtle um, very glowy very summer like you know I definitely put too much strobe cream <laughs> but it's okay it's okay so I'm gonna be applying that everywhere where I want to glow and guys I think finally I'm seeing some improvement with this skin thing that I've been having going on these hormonal issues okay I got I broke out two bumps over here and then two right here and I was just bragging about how good my skin was doing and that is how quickly Jesus humbled me <laughs> put me in my place let me know that it can happen to anyone at any time Yes, now I'm glowing like a donut, honey. I love it. Just really want to make sure that it's pressed into the skin. And also, guys, this is more than likely going to be a voiceover. Y'all know I live in an apartment complex. If you don't know, you know now. So this is going to be kind of both. So after prepping my skin, I'm going to be applying my Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer in the shade Walnut, right along with my Zoeva 104 Buffer Brush. And oh my gosh, you guys, look at that coverage. It is so beautiful, and the coverage is definitely buildable. Next, I'm going to take my Echo Tools sponge, and I'm just going to take off any excess makeup that I may have on my face. Next, I'm going to be using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Deep. And I'm just going to apply that concealer in all the places that I feel like could use a bit more coverage. To blend that out, I'm going to be taking this mini Real Technique sponge and I'm just going over all the places where I just applied that concealer. to sit a while and dry so I can blend it exactly where I want it to go. I'm going to be taking my Black Radiance Concealer Stick and I am just going to contour my face. This is a very earth tone concealer and I feel like it complements my undertones really well. contour I'm going to be taking my shiny f19 contour brush and I am just going to blend 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 away and guys fun fact this is actually a brush from one of the very first brush sets that I actually ever purchased cheek contour 
where you definitely want to point your brush upwards you want to take whatever product you have and push it upwards to further define your cheekbones i'm gonna take this morphe oval brush and i got this out of a brush set um, on morphe and i will definitely tag it below and i am going to blend out my nose contour with this that concealer has sat long enough and I'm ready to blend it out. I'm going to be using the same Zoeva 110 face shape brush to blend that out. powder in the shade Kalahari and I'm going to be placing that everywhere I put my highlight and guys look how smooth that transition is with this powder it is so beautiful to deepen and to set my contour I'm going to be taking my MAC dark deep with my Morphe M530 brush and I am just going to set my contour a big morphe fluffy brush and i'm going to set my face i'm so sorry i discovered this so late this powder is the bomb.com to contour my nose i'm going to be taking the echo tools slanted eyeshadow brush and i'm going to be taking that onto my mac dark deepest and i am going to finish up my contour powders to blend into one another i like to use a setting spray i'm going to be using my covergirl outlast active cooling setting mist all day wear and you guys know this is like one of my favorite steps blush i'm going to be taking my mac pinch opaque along with my morphe m403 and i'm just going to apply this beautiful blush to my cheekbones yes honey look at that it's super super excited when something that i like is turning out freaking amazing said it before i am obsessed with this duo to further define my nose i'm going to be taking this banana powder and i'm going to be placing it on the sides of my nose it is super super bright to be a banana powder which is why i use it as a lightning powder so i'm going to start working on my eyeshadow i'm going to be taking that same tart shape tape in the shade medium with my shape face brush and i am just going to be blending out that concealer on my eyelids that I'm going to be diving into is the DH Cosmetics Shayna the Remix palette and I'm going to be taking the shade Baby Girl onto my Morphe 441 blending brush and I am just going to blend that into well above my crease make sure you blend 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 this is this part is definitely sped up I did spend quite some time blending for my lid I'm going to be the NYX liquid suede cream lipstick in the shade pink lust yes I said lipstick I'm going to be using that as my base for my eyeshadow today this is a beautiful shade this is definitely going to make my eyeshadow pop and I'm using the applicator because I never use this for lipstick um i'm not that bold to be wearing a pink lipstick this light not yet anyway so i use the applicator to make sure that my cut creases are both even on both sides i'm going to be taking my bh cosmetics brush it's a flat kind of flat concealer brush and i am going to be just patting that liquid suede down and making sure that it is dry this is a matte shade so it should dry before you put on your eyeshadow Julia's Place palette and I'm going to be using the pressed pigment shade number 8 and I'm going to be applying that with my Shaney E17 eyeshadow buffer brush. I'm going to go back in with my 
Morphe M441 brush with a little bit of that shade Baby Girl on it so that I can blend these two eyeshadows together. The next palette that I'm going to be using is the Morphe Just a Crush palette and I'm going to be taking that shade Butterflies and I'm going to be applying it right over top of where I applied that pressed pigment from my Juvia's Place Zulu palette. taking the NACAC New York retractable pencil in the shade Deep Pink and I'm going to be applying that right underneath my waterline. For my inner corner, I'm going to be taking that shade Butterflies onto my Morphe M326 brush and I'm going to be placing that in my inner corner and a little bit in my waterline. Using the 9J Just a Crush palette, I'm going to be taking that shade first kiss and I'm going to blend that with that NACAC eyeshadow palette that I just used. I'm going to be applying that with my Morphe M431 brush. So I'm feeling super pink today. I'm going to be taking this Morphe Stella Impact highlight palette and I'm going to be using the shade Comet and I'm going to be applying that with my Morphe M510 brush and guys look at that. It is so beautiful and it is complementing that blush so well. I'm going to be taking the shade Butterfly and I'm just going to be placing it right on my brow bone. Now we can go ahead and add the final layer of setting spray. That's what I like to call it. And we can go ahead and wrap this look up. For mascara, I'm going to be taking the Bad Girl Mascara by Benefits. And I'm going to be applying that to my false lashes today. These are the M138 Mist False Lashes. For lip liner, I'm going to be using the NYX Slide On, Glide On, Stay On, and definitely a Turn On Waterproof Extreme Color Lip Liner. This lip liner is so good, the name had to be this long. And this is in the shade Urban Cafe. Next, I'm applying the Ashton Liquid Lipstick Shade, and this is by ABH. top of that, I'm going to be applying the ABH Liquid Lipstick Shade in Stripped. For gloss, I'm going to be using the MAC Lip Glass in the shade Spites. And this is just a very, very beautiful gloss that is going to bring this entire combination together. I have very big lips, so sometimes it's very hard for me to line them correctly. So just to correct that, I use a bit of concealer and a flat concealer brush. The concealer that I'm going to be using is deep in Tarte Shape Tape. Thank you guys so much. That is the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, if it helped you at all, if you learned anything whatsoever at all from this tutorial, Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and coming back time and time again. I really, really appreciate all the love and support so far. And I will catch you guys in the next one.